I don't know what's more scary, that music or my costume. Whipping up some spooky spirits and devilish dishes is just another day at the office for this week's chef on a shoestring, Jason Santos. He's executive chef at Gargoyles on the Square in Somerville, Massachusetts, but you may recognize him from his electric blue hair and second place finish on Gordon Ramsay's reality show, Hell's Kitchen. This week, we doubled our shoestring budget to 80 bucks for a special Halloween party menu backed with some of Jason's tricks and treats. Great to have you with Thank us. Thank you so much for Trick being or treat. Like what do we have here. on the menu? We are making the most amazing Halloween food ever, so we we have these bat wings that are actually smoked duck, and we have some devilish eggs, fresh crab salad, some spooky kung pao calamari, and of course some pumpkin French toast. Sounds good to me. Let's so get delicious. started. So we're going to start with the deviled eggs. These are amazing. You can certainly put whatever you like on top, but I okay. love crab meat, so I'm going to make it just a simple vinaigrette, little olive oil, little Dijon mustard, some fresh herbs, of course some salt and pepper, mm -hmm. and a little bit of fresh lemon juice. Just give that a stir. This is gonna go right on top each. And this is just underneath a standard These deviled egg. These are standard egg. deviled eggs. Got we're it. gonna just sort of make them a little bit better. Kick it up a notch. A nuts. little bit devilish. Some fresh crab salad, of course some bacon bits kind of everywhere. And then I have some chive oil here. We're just gonna sort of drizzle over the top. It's beautiful. And, and now, it. what are you calling these for these the Halloween special? These are our special? crab devilish eggs. Crab devilish eggs. All right, on to the next thing. So here we are going to make this awesome. This is one of my favorite things ever. This is a calamari. And so this is a great technique to make the kung pao sauce. So mm -hmm. here are the kung pao sauce. I start a little bit of sesame oil. Sort of all the flavors of china, some ginger. Mm -hmm. Smells really good. Some onion. Saute that for just, you know, 10 seconds. Some fresh scallion. We deglaze this with sherry. A lot of times you'll find sherry in a lot of Chinese cooking, so okay. here, a little bit of hoisin, a little bit of oyster sauce, then a little bit of water. You can use chicken stock or vegetable stock. Just to break it down, down a yeah, little. Yeah, totally. So you're just going to cook it out for a minute, and then we're going to thicken it with a little bit of cornstarch. Mm. So 60 the seconds. The cornstarch, now that it's liquefied, you have some cornstarch with water It's just in equal there? parts cornstarch water. I add it right to the pot. Got Stir it. it. As it sort of boils, it starts to get thick. So when that's done, we come down here. And then this is the kung pao sauce, so a little bit thick you can see. Ah, so this becomes this. Absolutely. So and this will stay in your fridge for a couple weeks, so it's really, really delicious. So uh, in a pan, a little bit of olive oil. This is carrots, celery, and onions, also called mirepoix. Oh, yes. The French name yes. for it. You can actually buy that now. I'm sure you Free can. Pre-made at the store. I've seen it. It's so amazing. Right there in the pan, I'm going to throw in some fresh straw mushrooms. Mm -hmm. Saute that for 10 seconds. And then I'm gonna throw in the calamari, and of course today. So that's today, what it looks like. I chose the tentacles because it it's plate. spooky, right? <laughs> so we have to go there. So right in. It is a little spooky. Later. It is. So we're gonna cook that just for a second, and then we're gonna add some of the sauce. Just stir that around. And then over here while that's cooking. How do you know, as far as the, the seafood goes, that you've cooked it long enough? Well, calamari is, if you overcook it, they're like rubber bands. So I'm okay. just going to undercook it. So calamari is sort of tough to cook, but it's one of my favorite things. So here I have some coconut rice that I steamed in a banana leaf. Some, How do you do that? You wrap it up I wrap and it, put it in Cook the water? rice, a little bit of coconut milk, some mango, wrap it in the banana leaf, steam it for a couple seconds. So that's just about done. And then always in Kung Pao, you have fresh peanuts. Mm -hmm. So a little, little in there, and then we'll use a little for the garnish. About That's done. beautiful. Sort of goes right in. And then here, we're going to garnish you with a little bit more of the peanuts. It's fancy. Very fancy. <laughs> it's Halloween. I love it. Let's get to my favorite part of the meal. These uh, mint, what is it? The Bacardi These and are corn. candy corn mojitos. <laughs> so when I think of Halloween, I think of candy corn and of course rum. Yes. So here. Obviously. The two go so well together. Some lime soda water. So normally when you do a mojito, it's mint, lime, and sugar, but here I made a candy corn sugar. Okay. So I'm going to put that in. Some fresh mint. Some fresh squeezed lime juice. Some ice cubes. Mm -hmm. And then, I think the best part. Some Does rum. it matter? You're using Bacardi here. Is it? I mean, I like Bacardi. Bacardi. It's great, but you could use any kind of rum. So okay. that just gets shaken a little bit. Did I hear rum? <laughs> oh yeah. You scared me a little bit. <laughs> Sorry. <there. laughs> a little shake. Just as cash. <laughs> Calm down. Give it a few more hours. Whoops. That goes in. 
There's one already made, guys, but there I can't one. reach it in this plastic. <laughs> right up your alley. I want, I want so it gets that. garnished. All right. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit of Thank candy corn. I know I love candy corn, right? Now we are here. going to figure out what we're voting on for next week oh, for our chef on a shoestring. You decide what's on next week's menu. Here are your choices. For eggplant <laughs> parmesan, simply call star star zero one. For vegetarian tacos, just call star star zero two. Remember, you don't have to text, you just have to dial. And for no meat, meatloaf, simply call star star zero three. Standard data and message rates apply. I haven't had a chance to even try the drink yet. Mm, Some go. pomegranate blood right in. Oh, that's it beautiful.